here is writing set number three with the generic opening done first. I'll just I'll show it first then break it down. Generic open. I'll do it from this side. stance with the double bowie. Right to point. Instantly, that's another video. A generic opening doesn't count, but it's one, two, three, four, five. Now here the, the third set is here. One. Catch in this X. One, bracing is more of like a brace, not a catch or a block. It's like, like I'm bracing something, you know. Could be low, a leg, could be an arm, could be a neck. All right, just like, I don't know if you can see this chain, though, I can't find too well. Well, uh, even this guy still has things to hide. But uh, anyway, it's a, it's an aggressive movement. It's a, it's. You know, it's offense, it's not a defense, it's not a block. I mean, it can be a block, it can act as a block, but in this instance, in the form, I'm using it as an offensive, forward attacking motion. Uh, I should set something up so I can show that anyway, but it's just a brace between the blades, okay? Pushing them up against the wall, holding them by the neck, they don't go nowhere. So you fucking say it, or, you know, or catch that arm brace you can push you can control without doing cutting up much damage if you don't want but okay so you, you get back to it here number one after the generic opening is the brace the x brace two one now we're going to slice cut out this is one that's the two we're actually two comes back in through the strike so it's one two this is under the armpits two Three comes out, comes around the back just a little, and comes in. Like if I was the target, coming out and like coming like this, those angles, close to the kidneys and stuff in the back, it was reaching around in the back to get it. It's not impossible at all. It's just a matter of training for that, leaning, you know, targeting. One, two. Right back up under the armpits. Three. Pull out. Back into the lower back. Kidneys. Four. Pull out. Double strike again. To the front of the thighs. Mid thighs. Five. Now six is a straight up knee. After the knee, you don't put your foot down until you do the side kick. So five. Six. Seven. I'll talk on the kick in a minute. Seven is a side kick. Eight is a jam with the elbow. Someone's rushing on you. Jam them. Eight. Nine. Feed them in the stomach there. Rust to the stomach. Nine and ten. They, they're bent over. You finish them off with a hammer fist in the back of the head or neck with a your pommel, your skull crusher, whatever you have. Butt of the knife. Right here, I'm going to put these down and get the real ones. Down, you look. That's great. 
it's a good workout, man, especially with the sun, you know, 900 degrees. But, you know, again, it gets back to what I have been talking about. The concept, the Japanese word for it is taijitsu, which means body movement. All martial arts, all good martial arts recognize that and work on that in the beginning with all students. And it's no different for uh, knife fighting. Why would it be? Why would you know? Why would it be different? You can apply it to anything. You just have to know how. All right. So here we go. Got my real ones here. A little bit on time. Okay. Cold Steel Wild West Bowie with the altered guard I did. Do it myself because that's how I liked them, and it's for a reason, not just for looks. Again, I'm not getting into that. But in my left hand one here is this awesome uh, Bowie the Mistress by Down Under Knives. This is a like 12 inch blade, and it's sharp as hell, it's solid, but most importantly, you know, great. It's got that flat handle and a perfect butt for me to look. I could even go forward to reverse with this one, the 12 inch. That's why you need flat handled knives, not round handled or any other thing, because you can manipulate it way more easier and effective. Okay, and then again, as I said before, with the generic openings or all the double knife sets, uh, it's preferable if you can get in your left hand or if you're righty, switch it up, but in one hand, have a longer thrusting weapon. You know that has more reach and the other is a more of a power a chopper a slasher you know that type of thing okay i mean you can do it with the same things of course and you could also do it with pocket knives still going to get the body movement but lines are much different right, so here we go number three with the blades real blades tidbit for you about one of the why the importance of these forms just like I used to explain why the importance of katas and in, in uh, martial arts classes and stuff again because it's tailor-made specific pre thought out body movements for that specific style and it's uh, usually the backbone of the style the movements of the students and everything is in that so if you can't be fluid in this, these basic, simple, you know, not too hard moves, 10 of them, if someone can't get through that, I mean by can't get through it, so it's, you know, never practice, don't do it, can't, literally can't do it, if you had to get up there, never practice, can't do it. How well do you think that, that individual or not even that body is going to do if it was ever in a real fight or engaged with a knife and someone with uh, something else a shovel a bat a knife crowbar anything to the death you know are you, are you telling me gonna, their things are going to be better are you seeing no what they're going to do is they're going to either freeze drop it and run yeah, that's pretty much it you get choked up now the person who is wise and has training, invested in training in himself 
and the sweat and can buy it all and puts the time in and you put in the repetitions and then god forbid you're in that situation your body already has knows how to move and function and flow with the knives in your hand and you know how to execute things and your footwork uh, works without you having to think about it these are all just some of the benefits from doing forms right it's getting late now i'm talking too much okay let me do it once from this side on this angle Opening, we have brace, cut. One, two, three, under the armpits. Now, the back, four, double strike. Five, right in the mid thighs, six. Knee to, the, knee to that person you just pierced. Six, boom, and then eight, nine, ten. All right, that's it. I'm already in the 10 minute, 11 minute. Uh, thing there I'm gonna end with one thing real quick. I'm just going to demonstrate uh, I'm gonna do three maybe five all five of the Up to five anyway of the fighting sets right now just so you can get an idea You know of what it looks like when you start stringing multiple uh, multiple sets together All right um, I'm gonna go back to the trainer just because. So. Right. Again, and these trainers are exact replicas of those two knives I was just holding. I made them specifically, uh, and it's great. Okay, here's the uh, sets. You know, one to three, maybe one to five. Two. Five. Okay. One to five, and that's it. We're closing out here, melting to death. Practice. Make sure you practice, get out there and sweat. Can't do it wrong. The only wrong or mistakes in doing it is not doing it and sitting on the couch eating bullshit, you know.